Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today is a very exciting day because we are debuting a new tool that we are going to get a lot of use out of. This is exciting stuff. Now guys, you all know that Caden and I just finished building our cabin up by the pond. And in building that cabin, we were able to utilize a great big oak tree that fell down in our pasture because our buddy Justin brought over his woodland mill sawmill so that we could use it to mill up that lumber. Well, in getting to try out the sawmill and then seeing how rewarding it is to turn trees from your own property into something that you can use for a lifetime, well, now what? Let's build another one. <laughs> <laughs> I decided a sawmill is just something we need. So I set out to find a company to work with that would be willing to partner with Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead in order to put a sawmill on our property so that we can do more projects like the cabin. We've got lots of big ideas, building fence and having a wood yard and the whole works. And I've kind of been dropping hints about this all along. Well. Today's the day that I'm going to share with you the sawmill that we got. The wait is over. We now have a MechMax SM26 sawmill assembled and ready to go to work. Man, I'm so excited about this too. Now, MechMax is a newer company to the sawmill game. And what I want to do is put this thing through its paces, test it out, and give you confidence in their brand because MechMax is built with a lot of the same components of all the other sawmill brands that you may already be familiar with, like Woodland Mills, Frontier. They're sourcing parts from a lot of the same places. And I can now give you information on how this mill compares to the Woodland Mills HM130 Max because I have experience with both of those. And I can tell you just out of the gate, I am extremely impressed with the fit and finish and quality of the parts that are on this mill. And most of them are very familiar. The rails, the bunks, a lot of the things that I got to see on the Woodland Mills are essentially the same product that this mill is built on. In my research, the MechMax SM26 is the most affordable sawmill with the features that it has. The 26 inch capabilities, the uh, horsepower of the motor, it's a 15 horse motor, which is the largest standard engine of this class of sawmill. You're getting, getting the same cutting capabilities with a higher horsepower motor for several hundred dollars less. Now I'm not gonna quote prices because Prices fluctuate. The price of the MechMax may go up in the next few months. It may go down in the next few months. Same with the other companies. But I do know that when I did my research, we were talking five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars cheaper than any other mill on the market. And from what I can see, they didn't cut corners. They're not giving you a lesser product. They're just giving you a better value for your money. So we'll find out how true all of that is because one, they agreed to work with us. So they provided this mill to me and I wanna be upfront about that. They're not paying me. We have no contract. They're not telling me what I can and can't say, but they did provide the mill for me. And for that, I am extremely grateful and I want to be fair to them. However, I am going to tell the truth about everything that we see and do and use this sawmill for. And you can find out whether this is a name that you can trust. I was able to assemble this mill in about three hours, and we're going to be putting, putting together a video on that assembly so that you can see that. And if you were to purchase one of these, then I'll give some tips and tricks and things that will help your assembly go a little bit smoother. But today, I have a walnut log here from a tree that we cut down in order to move in Cameron's house over there in the field. So we're taking another tree from our property and what we're going to do is turn this lumber into lumber that I can use to build a table for our cabin. Now it will have to dry and all of that. So hopefully I can get enough quality lumber out of this. I actually have three logs. This is the biggest of the logs that I have and we're gonna mill these up and kind of just get the mill tuned in and everything set up right. Now, we're not gonna leave it in the shop here. We have plans to build a wood yard, put it outside with a roof over the top of it and have a place to cut up slabs and a place to split wood and all of those things. So, lots of great content coming up. But I wanted to assemble it in the shop so that I could start out on a good level surface, get everything tuned in, make sure everything works right, before we actually take it out and try to set it up outside. So let's take a quick tour of the SM26 sawmill and then we'll fire this thing up and cut our first log. 
So I actually already have the log on the mill and you can see, you know, we've got our log stops in, we've got our log dogs in place holding the log and we've got it set up with water and a little bit of dish soap. I will say on the watering system, it is not automatic. It doesn't work with your throttle controls. And that's something that's very handy. So I may be looking to add that soon, but you have your watering system right here and that's all ready to go. You got your normal blade tension T handle here, kind of like the Frontier setup. Here's your, your push handle with the throttle control right here. Kind of feels like a, a clutch handle or a brake handle on a dirt bike to control your throttle. You got an emergency stop right here. And then the motor, is a 420 cc 15 horse engine and so far i mean it actually fired up on the very first pull after i filled it up with oil and put gas in it turned the gas on i gave it a pull and it fired right up i will tell you this thing has some compression and it will kick back this is not electric start so when you go to pull this recoil you got to have a good hold on the handle because if you hit that compression stroke and get the kickback it'll yank it right out of your arms we did some fine tuning of the adjustments, get the blade running right on the wheels and all of that. And I think we are all set up and ready to make our first cuts. So let's fire it up. We'll give her a good pull. Now they say this mill will handle an 11 foot log. I think it would be very difficult to get cuts on an 11 foot log on this mill because the log I have on here now is 10 foot two inches and I have it almost up to the blade and I have it set to where the, the blade will go all the way through the log and just come out the other side. I don't think you would get more than about 10 foot three or four out of a log, but we'll kind of see as we go how that works out. I ran the blade out the other side and it stuck out about an inch. So yeah, 10 foot three, 10 foot four, it's about as long a log as you're gonna be able to run on this. Now this being the very first log that we put on the mill, I really had to take my time, watch all the settings very closely and I haven't developed a routine yet. So I keep forgetting to turn the water on. I keep forgetting to turn it back off when I get to the end of the log. I've also had to work on the positioning of the log because I have a 10 foot 3 inch log which is within the capacity of this mill but if you get it too far to either end then you can't get the blade started or you can't get the blade out at the other end so you've got to have the log positioned just right. Now another adjustment I had to make was on the throttle cable. We wanted to make sure that we were getting the RPMs high enough to fully engage the clutch because the first time I pushed it into the log and put a load on the blade it actually was slipping the clutch. So these are some of the basics that you're gonna to wanna to watch out for the first time that you mill. Make sure you have those adjustments right because you will burn a clutch up quickly if you don't run the engine hard enough to fully engage it. And you can see right there, I had to stop the mill and turn the water back on because I had forgot. Right here is where I figured out that the RPMs were too low on the engine and it stopped the blade. So I had to get on through this cut and then I made some adjustments to make sure we got that corrected. So 
So as I get more practice using the mill and I get a system down, then I'll make more videos on some how-tos for this particular mill. But right now, I'm kind of learning the basics myself, so I just wanted to show some of the capabilities of this mill and how it performed right out of the box. And so far, I'm really impressed. So we're taking this walnut log and we're just cutting it into the biggest cant that we can cut right now just as practice. And then what I'm going to do is cut it into one inch thick boards that will end up being about seven, seven and a half inches wide and ten foot long. Now my plan is ultimately to turn this walnut into a table that we can put in our cabin. So we'll have to take these boards and lay them out to dry and when we get the opportunity we're going to take some woodworking tools and turn it into a table. All right, so I've had this running for about a half an hour. And first off, I want to show, I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but we're still completely full of fuel. So crazy fuel efficient, so that's good. Now, I know we haven't done much yet. All I've done is square up a log. You know, this was a tree that we just moved so that Cameron could move his house in. And uh, so it's kind of, we don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to try to make some boards out of it that I can do something with, hopefully make a table for the cabin. So that's my plan, but I also know that I have to learn. So I'm kind of using these logs that we have around here that are just extra and laying around in order to accomplish that. Now, I'll say a few things that I have figured out so far about this. The first being, as I get it tuned in and I get the throttle set right to where the engine RPMs are up where they need to be to fully engage the clutch and all that, um, it's cutting really good. It's strong, the motor pulls strong, and it's cutting you know, through these knots, getting a good smooth cut. Um, I've made some really thin cuts just to try it out and you know, like quarter inch thick, got a, a nice quarter inch thick board all the way down through there. So it's really accurate, seems to be doing a great job especially for us just getting it set up and starting to tune it in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this board down into one inch boards. Um, they'll be 10 foot by, they're seven and a half inches wide and they're, they'll be 10 foot long. So we'll cut some one bys out of that just so I have those boards to work with. This is a lot of fun. I, I'm really going to enjoy this. Now I got a lot to learn, but I'm going to enjoy this. got down to this final cut, I was a little concerned that I might have something out of adjustment to where if we cut too low, we would hit some of our log dogs or our log stops or something like that. And so I was really taking it slow here just to make sure that I had clearance for everything. I only had the one blade that came on the sawmill and so I didn't want to ruin it just yet.
this, this right here, this is what I love about running a sawmill. Take a tree that stood over there in the corner of that field back there, and the whole time we've been here, you know, it's not a very big, very old tree, but it was right in a spot where it was gonna be right near their house. And of course, we didn't wanna take any chances of a tree falling on the house or anything like that. Plus, they needed to do excavating. So we took it down and this will hopefully, after it dries out, be a table in our cabin down the road. So just kind of taking stuff from our property, not letting it go to waste, making memories out of it and ha having a good hobby. Well, guys, I am very impressed and very excited to be working with MechMax. Hope you will check out their products. I'll put a link down in the description to their website so you can see what products they have. Not only do they have sawmills, but they have wood chippers and stump grinders and they have skid steer attachments and lots of other products that I haven't gotten to check out yet, but I know they have some great products out there. So be sure and go to their website, check them out. And if you're in the market for a sawmill, give them a hard look because for your money, seems like you're getting an awful good product hope you enjoyed today's video listen it's going to be a few weeks before we put the sawmill in any more videos because i don't intend to mill any more lumber inside the garage i am going to get the wood yard set up on the hill so our content is going to be about that getting the wood yard set up cutting some more trees down parking the side by side a little bit further away and getting everything cleared off to where we can build us a sawmill shed and all of that it's going to be a good time. Hope you guys will join us with that. Until then, don't forget to get outside and enjoy God's creation. It's beautiful out here. Y'all have a good day. Mm -hmm.